Hello, today is Friday the uh, 4th of uh, May 2012. I uh, asked earlier about recommendations or uh, stuff that you might want to see and there was one regarding currency and uh, I'm on the page uh, www.ecb.eueur.eu slash stat slash money slash agrid slash series slash html slash index.enhtml. Don't expect you to memorize that. So I found this web page and I look at uh, historical time series and well, I didn't like 15 kilobytes when I first seen it. But uh, I've looked at this once before, and well, we'll bring this up. Now, I, uh, I'm going to bring up Microsoft Excel, which is uh, like a starter, as you can uh, see on there. And I, I don't like the program, but I can at least make a line chart within this uh, when it does actually load up. And then we'll take a look at the money supply for Europe. They actually have many many different years within it so we got the spreadsheet and uh, it says it's read only right here but I'm gonna do more than just read it I'm gonna make a chart alright so this is what we got we're going back to January 1980 and I don't know what I guess this is M1 I don't know you got T, T Euro 1 and then you got a number, this is in billions, so I guess 444 billion. Therefore, we'll just highlight all this information and then make a spreadsheet. So here we are. We'll make a chart, actually. So we'll do a line chart. And there's a chart of the European money supply. I'm going to make this a logarithmic chart. The lowest number on here is 440. So I'll just double click where the price is. Again, I don't like this as much as I do the uh, open office. And uh, we'll put in, say, 430 for the minimum. And this is right in here, logarithmic scale. The lowest I can do is 1. Or two, actually. It says here, enter a number from two on. Enter a number from two to a thousand. In an open office, I can put decimal numbers in, which would work most of the time a lot better, including this one as well. So this is the increase of the money supply, I'm guessing, for Europe, going back to 1980. And, well, it's doubled. Each one of these lines is a double, pretty much. So it's doubled once twice, three times. It's working on doubling four times over since uh, 1980, which is really no surprise when you understand that we're in a debt-based system, that the only way to keep the thing going, the thing being the, the economic model, is to just keep on adding more debt within the system. But what I'd like to understand within this if say there was uh, a units of 100 units for 10 people well if the population goes up to 50 well then maybe you need 500 units so the question is has the population did better than triple over the last uh, 30 plus years and the answer to that is not even close but uh, just a quick little update and uh, thank you for tuning into this video take care bye bye